Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this time I'm going to be showing you a new form of transmogrification that's coming into Warlords of Draenor. Of course, lots of people love transmog and that's absolutely fine because you know what? It's pretty cool. Now the strange thing about this uh, new transmog system is that it actually comes from the Dwarven Bunker. Personally, I think it would have made more sense from the Salvage Yard since it does involve salvaging Iron Horde stuff, but whatever. Let's just mouse over here and uh, have a bit of a read. So, uh, first of all, level 1's actually really cool. I may as well explain that to you. When you're questing in Warlords of Draenor, what actually happens um, while you're questing is you've got a chance of your green item turning into a epic or something like that. So this will actually double the chance at level 1. But what we care about right now is level 2. Allows for the collection of armor scraps from the orc clans of Draenor for armor transmogrification use. Now this is going to be pretty interesting. And finally, the level 3 will just give you one of your three um, seals of tempered fate, which by the way are the bonus loot rules, at no cost each week. So if you don't feel like going and getting your third one, well, if you have a dwarven bunker, then problem solved. Now what are these iron horde scraps? Well, here they are. They're armored scraps and they basically drop off iron horde soldiers. They don't drop too often though. I mean, this... I'd say that they're definitely dropping at a rate of under once a minute, for me anyway, but I was killing level 95 mobs just because that's where I, you know, knew there were Iron Horde mobs and level 100s that I tried to kill Hello. didn't actually drop anything. So, first of all, let's just go to the Quartermaster here. She's got a quest for us to get five of those scraps. Um, oh, wait, never mind. My quest log's apparently full. Wow, 25 quests already. Let's just drop this Ashran quest because you know what? I'm not going to go to Ashran on this character. So... We shall hand this in, get our scraps of iron. And uh, this time, it just gives me a Stormwind Tabard. Obviously, you know, it's going to give you something a bit different from that. So here's our different rewards. And um, look, Stormwind Armor. I'll, I'll give you a quick little look at this. So you can actually get a new version of the Stormwind Guard Armor. But let's just say we want these grips. I'll show you all the other bits of armor at the end of the video once we go and collect our scraps. So... Scraps-wise, I have got 24. Now, 24 is no good. I need to get some more. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to fly over there. The reason I do this is just to show you the kind of gameplay that's actually involved in this system. I don't really want to leave it up to the imagination. Anyway, I will magically uh, fast-forward myself until we get into Talador. Alright then, so we're finally in Talador, and I actually noticed that something a little bit strange happened. So that quest that asked me to get five iron scraps actually gobbled up the 24, or 23, that I had on my character. Which uh, kind of sucked, but the good news is I farmed them all up again. I currently have 23 in my pocket, but two of them are lying in these guards, and it took me 28 minutes. However, honestly, I wasn't being the most efficient, so you should probably take about uh, five, maybe four minutes off that. So there we go, we got some arm armor scraps. We now have 27. So it's time to use our very convenient garrison hearthstone to go back and see what kind of nice loot we can get for this. Now I'd imagine that horde players will be able to get their faction specific armor. It's just that obviously I'm an alliance character and it would be a little bit strange if they were selling horde armor inside my dwarven bunker. Wonder what those dwarves have been up to. Uh, yeah, sorry, loading screens are, are still a thing, unfortunately. We we have not defeated them yet. But anyway, right, here we are. We're in our town hall. Let's just quickly move our way over to the dwarf place. By the way, this is um, a little bit of a fun little beta pheno um, phenom phenomenon. Phenomenon, there we go. And yeah, it's weird. You just sort of see everything untextured for a little bit of time, which I guess is kind of nice. I like looking at game worlds when they're slightly broken and untextured. All right, then, so we're back. Where are you, Quartermaster? Where are you? Oh, uh, there you are. Okay, so got a whole bunch of different sets here. I've already seen the store. Oh, come on. All right, so this NPC is going to run away while we try to put her clothes on. Lovely. So here is the Shadow Moon set. Now, this is on a female drain eye, and honestly, some of these sets look ultra shit on a female drain eye. I'd say this would probably work better in a female orc, but that's just what this character happens to be. So there you go. Let's try this, which is the Warsong stuff. This is the male transmog set. It's whatever, fair enough. But again, I mean, you could maybe wrap up a little bit more if you're going into war in somewhere that's, you know, savage, but it's armor, I guess. Let's move on to the Thunderlord stuff, which, frankly, 
I mean, okay, it's no Victoria's Secret, but... Yeah, it's... What? Bl what? Like, l surely this is not done, right? Surely. Ugh. I don't know. It, like, if you put that on a male character, it, I, it just... It times gets to me when armor is like that in female characters. You know, it, it's a thing anyway. The good news is this war or not war song, and black rock armor is absolutely fantastic looking. A little bit strange with the horn sticking out of the head. Maybe that wouldn't be a thing, or shouldn't be a thing, but anyway. So if you put it on, notice that really badass big old uh, waist majiggy thing. It's got fire inside it nonetheless. Um, you know, really big strong iron plating on it. Overall, that's such a cool set. That bit of black rock gear. Now, if we look at some other things, I'll just finally give you a close-up of the Stormwind stuff, as well as the Stormwind shield, so you'll notice it's the Stormwind armor, but it's been upgraded in terms of its visual fidelity. Now, uh, one other thing you'll probably notice is, look at these shoulder guards. It needs, um, uh, yeah, some crusted iron horde pauldrons. I have not got any of these yet, strangely enough, but there do seem to be some items. So here's an example, um, a battered iron horde helmet. So there's going to be more to the salvaging game than, I suppose, simply getting the iron scraps. Now, it does say that these drop from dungeons. Um, I think. There was one of these that said, uh, yeah, there we go, the pauldrons are collected from iron horde corpses in dungeons and used at your garrison armory. So there will probably be different um, sources for these. And I'd imagine that there will be a decent amount of gameplay in actually collecting these sets. I know that at the very least, it took me, let's just say, 25 minutes to get 25 of these. So roughly one a minute. Um, you know, this is going to take a long time. This, this might take you 40 minutes. These two, 50 minutes. This, 25. You know what I mean? It's going to take a lot of time to get these transmog sets. Unless there is, of course, you know, places that have got a far higher drop rate. However, I just don't know if that'll be the case. All this needs to be tuned. Beta is beta. And really, I just did this video to show you a cool new system that hopefully they expand upon. It's often really cool when NPCs are wearing a nice bit of armor, and it's great that they now have a game system that allows us to get that armor in a way that makes sense. Anyway, that's been a quick little look at this feature. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.